Hi, fifth grade, it's Mrs. Feathers. We're going to go over your grammar practice pages for the week. This week you are assigned pages 101 to 104. Your first page is page 101. We're looking at independent and dependent clauses. The box at the top states that a clause is a group of words that has a subject and a predicate. An independent clause has one complete subject and one complete predicate, so it can stand alone as a sentence. A dependent clause cannot stand alone as a sentence. It is introduced by a subordinating conjunction, such as if or because. On this page, you're going to read each sentence and write whether the underlined words are an independent clause or dependent clause. We're going to do three examples together. Number one states, I spent Saturday afternoon at the craft fair. That whole sentence is underlined. I see that it has a subject I and a predicate spent Saturday afternoon at the craft fair. Because it has both of these, it is an independent clause. So I'm going to write independent on the line. Number two says, I got in free because I am a student. Only the part of the sentence that says, because I am a student, is underlined. I see that it starts with a subordinating conjunction because, so I cannot have this stand alone as a sentence, meaning that it is a dependent clause. Number three, if I bought something, I would receive a discount. I would receive a discount is underlined. It has a subject I and a predicate would receive a discount, meaning that it could be a sentence on its own and it is an independent clause. You will finish this page with the same directions. Your next page is page 102. We're looking at complex sentences. So the box at the top states that a complex sentence contains an independent clause and a dependent clause and we use a comma after an introductory dependent clause. So if you have an independent clause, then dependent clause making up your complex sentence, you do not need a comma. If you have a dependent clause, then an independent clause, you do need a comma. On this page, we're going to do an example of each of those. And it, the directions state to use the subordinating conjunction in parentheses to combine the two clauses into one complex sentence. Then you're going to write the new sentence on the line provided. Number one says, Why, we played outside, the sun was still shining. And then I have the conjunction while in parentheses. I am going to make this into an, an example of an ID or independent then dependent clause sentence, meaning that I do not need a comma at all. So I'm going to put while in between those two clauses. Number two says it was hot, we drank lots of water, and then I have the conjunction because. I am going to make this into a dependent then independent clause sentence, meaning that I need a comma. So I'm going to start with the conjunction because it was hot, comma, we drank lots of water. You will finish this page with the same directions. Your next page is looking at appositives. The box at the top states that an appositive is a noun noun phrase or noun clause that explains or describes a nearby noun or pronoun, and a positive may come before or after a noun or pronoun, and we use commas to set off many appositives. On this page, we're going to combine the two sentences into one by creating an appositive out of the second sentence, and then write the new sentence on the line provided. We're going to do two of these together. Number one says, Mrs. Thayer visited our class today. Mrs. Miss Thayer is our town's police chief. So I learn in the second sentence who Mrs. Miss Thayer is. 
So I am going to make that into my appositive to describe who Miss Thayer is. So I'm going to say Miss Thayer. Then I need a comma, our town's police chief, comma, visited our class today. One way to check if your appositive makes sense is you can take it out of the sentence and it still makes sense. So I still have my first complete sentence, Miss Thayer visited our class today. I have my commas separating my appositive from my noun, Miss Thayer. Let's do one more. She spoke about cops. COPS is the Keep Our Parks Safe program. So in the second sentence, I learn what COPS is. So I'm going to add that as an appositive to the end of my first sentence. I need a comma. And since I am at the end of my sentence now, I just put a period. So she spoke about COPS, Keep Our Parks Safe program. So that a positive is just explaining what COPS is. You will finish three, four, and five on your own. Your final page is your proofreading page. The directions say to proofread the paragraph. On the lines below, correct mistakes in the use of clauses, appositives, and commas. Billy Bibb Barker, the baseball legend, will be signing photos after today's game. I see a mistake with an appositive in that sentence. Um, I need to set off with commas the baseball legend that describes who Billy Bibb Barker is. Comma, the baseball legend, comma, will be signing You will be going through the rest of this paragraph looking for more mistakes. As always, please look back at comments we're leaving you to see if you need to make any corrections before taking your grammar quiz on Thursday. Have a great day, fifth grade. Bye.